In this lecture we will create and configure two new web servers and last we will test the load balancing scenario. So now I'm back in Azure portal, I will click virtual machines, so now I can see the web server 01 here, probably, hopefully. Yes, so first I will select it and I will go and delete this one. And I have to type yes for confirmation as you can see now on the screen, so yes and go down and click on delete. So we'll create now two new virtual machines and last of course we will test the load balancing scenario. So clicking on notifications now and I will wait for the deletion to be completed. All right, so the process is complete. I will dismiss all, good, and I'll go back to home. And I will click now create a resource. So here is the Azure marketplace. I will click Ubuntu server and now I can just start the configuration. So I am in subscription free trial, that's fine. Resource group is AZ900, the virtual machine name. So let's type here web server 01. I'm running in West, uh, West Europe. Availability options. So I will select availability zone and I will choose here availability zone 1. The image is fine, Ubuntu server. Now I will scroll down a little bit and I will change the size and I will select the B1S, so B1S virtual machine size, select again, because I want to be uh, working in the free tier, uh, so remember the 750 hours per month. Authentication type, so password, again for username I will say Azure and admin, for the password admin, admin 123 exclamation mark, and again admin, admin 123 exclamation mark. Now I will click next to disks. I will not modify anything here. I will click next onto the networking tab. We are working in virtual network AZ900 VNet, subnet one, that's fine. Public IP, I will create a new one. So web server 01-pip, so public IP. Assignment static, and again, I will select here zone redundant. So a zonal public IP is a guarantee to a specific zone and is tied to the health of that zone. On the other hand, a zone, a zone redundant public IP is served by all zones simultaneously and resilient to zone failure. So that's why I'm selecting zone redundant. Good, I will click OK now. Now the load balancing. So this is an interesting part. Do you want to place this virtual machine behind an existing load balancing solution? So I will click yes, scroll down a little bit load balancing options so no application gateway i want azure load balancer and i want to select the load balancer here so load balancer is az900 this is what we have configured right the backend pool so this virtual machine will be inserted here in the backend pool az900 that's fine so i'm ready to continue click next nothing here in the management i will click advanced nothing here in the advanced right tags we will say here for the name it will be web server 01 and for the tag it will be az900 good so now just next review and create i can review the configuration and once the validation yes it's completed so validation passed i can just click create so deployment is underway in the meantime let's create web server 01 so home and again create a resource and I will select again Ubuntu server and I will have to define the resource group so AZ900 the virtual machine name so web server 02 West Europe this time availability zone but I will select another zone so availability zone 2 again I will change the size of the machine to B1S so select the VM size and I'll go for this one, B1S and again select. The password is the authentication type, so Azure admin and admin, admin123 exclamation mark, admin, admin123 exclamation mark. That's fine, disks, nothing here, networking. For the networking, I have the public IP, I will create a new one and it will be web server 02 and again pip, so public IP, zone redundant, I will click OK. 
Now I can continue with yes load balancing. So I want here Azure load balancer and I will select the load balancer AZ900 and place this VM in the backend pool AZ900. And I can see that the first one has been created. So the first VM, so web server 01. Next for management, nothing here. Advanced, nothing here. Tags, I will type here, so name and web server 0 two and tag with az900 great review and create validation passed so i'll click on create so now just wait for this one to be created as well great so deployment succeeded for the second web server now let's go to home and click on virtual machines we should see here two web servers that's fine so i'll go for the first one web server 01 and go to networking and here I have the inbound port rules so remember we need to add another rule in order to permit HTTP traffic so the destination should be port 80 traffic is TCP actually priority why not 100 and the name let's say here allow HTTP and I'm referring to port 80 so I'll click add Actually, it shouldn't take that long to create the security rule. So let's wait in, in order to, to complete. And here it is. So allow HTTP 80, port 80, protocol TCP, source any, destination any. Good. Going to web server 02 and the same in the networking tab here. Inbound port rules. Good. Add inbound port rule. Destination is 80. Traffic is TCP in order to be more specific. The action is allow priority is 100 and we'll name it allow HTTP and this is port 80 so I'll click add and again it shouldn't take long 